So my idea of heaven, if I died and went to heaven, this is what it would look like. Follow us around and we'll show you some pretty cool toys. Over here there's a super super sick Lamborghini Aventador. The metallic paint on this car is something out of this world. Maybe come zoom in on it. The inside of this car looks like a spaceship or something in a rocket. Over here we've got a really cool Ferrari GTO. Let me show you something. So this car is literally so on fire that it comes with a bolt-in fire extinguisher. <laughs> I don't know if that should make me worry, but anyway. <laughs> I suppose all race cars have to have a safety escape kind of thing somewhere. Some more cool Ferraris. This looks almost like a pista. There's actually a saying that says, um, if you want to be somebody, you buy a Ferrari. If you already are somebody, you buy a Lamborghini. Then over here, one of my favorites, as you all know, McLaren. I'm obsessed with McLarens. They are just such classy cars. Sporty, classy, and it just gives off that attitude vibe. Then over there, we've got something new for James Blond. Oops, I mean James Bond. <laughs> One of his newer upgraded models, Aston Martin. Now let me tell you, if I saved up for about 10 years, I think I'd be able to afford this. With no insurance, of course. <laughs> Who needs insurance on a race car anyway? Now everybody likes to say that G-Wagons are gangster wagons, but the Luma kitted Range Rover over there is just something phenomenal. We've even got one rolling and it sounds so nice. 720S, beautiful. How is the color on this car? Now these cars are something to look at and something to enjoy, but I'm sure most of us get that feeling like, what are we doing wrong in life? Why do we not own one of these? Because I feel like that on a daily basis. <laughs> this is the ideal rich man's workshop or garage to own. better than this. And it's got super, super slick bucket seats inside. Full carbon, of course. That is so nice. It is definitely something to look at. Let's see what they have hiding at the back. So if you look nicely, you can see the engine. Twin exhaust, that's so sick. The finishes on this car is just, it's, I don't even have words for it anymore. <laughs> it makes me want to work harder and do more in life. <laughs> got somebody here that's gonna give us a breakdown on the car and actually what its top speed is and power output tell me a little bit more about the 720s like right. what is the best quality of the car so the best quality of the car is the all-rounded how well they've done the all-rounded thing I mean the performance the comfort how easy it is to drive but also how fast it is it's ridiculous <laughs> and how does it handle on a track oh, ridiculously good. so being McLaren we're obviously born on the racetrack uh, we're racing pedigree company so we're at home on the track. And then what does one of these, what's the kilowatt output? 
So we do work on horsepower PS. Okay. Um, 720 horsepower, which is 710 Makes sense. PS. All of our numbers <laughs> yes. correspond to the horsepower output of our cars. Okay. Yeah. And is it all wheel drive? Is it? No, so they're all rear wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Karen has a big thing of weight uh, saving. They want to be the lightest cars around. Four wheel drive gets a little bit heavier. Okay. Could um, you tell us what one of these cars weight? 1,450 kilos. <laughs> That's light. Yeah. It's almost like you could take off and fly away, yeah. hence all the carbon. Yeah. Um, have you gotten the chance of racing one around the track? Yeah, so we do track days every quarter. Okay. I uh, get fortunate enough to take the cars around. And top speed around the track? So top speed, you're looking at about 340. <laughs> That's like there. being on a super bike. <laughs> That's crazy. crazy. Alrighty, well The scariest cool. thing about this car though is the 0 to 100. 2.8 seconds. 2.8 seconds. That's yeah. insane. That's like uh, the blink of an eye. That's ridiculous. That's cool. Alrighty. Well, cool. Thank you so cool, much. Man, I no really problem. appreciate it. Anytime, man. If you want to feel like you've made it and you want to just relax and feel like you're rolling around on a couch, of course, Rolls Royce is the one. This little phantom over here actually has what looks to be an acrylic emblem. These cars just never go out of style. They never get outdated. It's just such a businessman's car, especially if you want to retire one day and you know you are somebody, these are the ones to get. It's kind of a ship on wheels though, but don't let that fool you. Look inside, it's still like a little bit dated. It's but I guess they do what they can to suit their customers. I guess this is a very heavy car, but it's not built for speed entirely. It's more built for comfort and luxury. Yes, it's something we can all appreciate. <laughs> this one's got quite a nice blue interior actually. Ah, this is a two-door as well. Slick black, gloss black dash. Yeah, these cars just never go out of style. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of our little supercar adventure. If you liked it and you'd like to see some more content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am JDM Jones. I'll catch you on the next one.